वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ कॉर्पोरल पनिशमेंट शुड इट बी बैंड और नॉट राइट आई एम दीपक जैन विद शिवानी एंड इन द पार्ट वन द लास्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ शिवानी वॉज दिस दैट द इफ आई स्टूडेंट इज बीटन ही वुड बी फीलिंग अवेस्ट इम्बेस्ड राइट ही वुड बी थिंकिंग दैट वाई ओनली एम आई बींग बीटन नॉट अदर्स so he there would be a realization right yes sir but that realization would be interesting okay in order to succeed in life you must have heard so many people they say that self realization self motivation self confidence these are the things very important okay that kick start okay is not okay kick start can start only right but it can not take you to the destination maybe a force right or maybe yeah the force can make you a player but the force forcefully you can not be a very good player this is the thing forcefully i know i can teach you i don't deny the fact forcefully i can teach you something but actually there is big competition and you can not deserve to compete in the among the people in the competition you know because you whatever you did there was force behind it okay and that force can not take you for so long you know there is an adage in english the mice play when the cat is away when the teacher is there the students study but do you not know the fact that if they don't revise if they don't practice right then they cannot know they cannot learn only in the presence of a teacher they would be focusing that can be show off they pretend right why should they be pretentious so they should have the self realization by beating interim temporarily you can bring their focus and that is a show off okay not real not real sir actually as you are saying that it is not real and uh, the teacher uh, the student will only uh, learn, only study in front of a teacher yes. but even at house uh, when the children come to house and he will think that he will be punished hmm. uh, or beaten uh, if he didn't do the, his homework then he will surely do his homework and hmm. even in the presence of the fear of the teacher he will do his homework hmm. so i think it is important in this case so why only in teaching right have you seen in in terms of like games cricket and all have you seen a coach is beating a player like virat kohli was beaten sachin tendulkar was beaten by archrekar why only in education let me know this sir actually not only in education it is also done in sports but uh, the players who have been beaten or punished by their coaches they understand that why the coaches are beating us because we had committed no, a mistake no they don't beat they motivate them they encourage them you but, you, have, you may have never seen that i mean somebody is uh, hitting the stick on their palms like this or getting punished like this they are not punished like sir, this sir be, sir beating on the palm is just a way of beating but uh, for example punish, that punishment helps them you know how they would ask them to take round in the ground right it was it would generate a good stamina and if they beat on their palm with a stick tell me what is the benefit of this sir as you are saying that uh, the coach did not beat their uh, beat their players in sports and all but i think in uh, mericom told in an interview that he was beat uh, she was beaten uh, when she, uh, when she did training and uh, uh, his uh, her coach used to uh, give a slap by the uh, the boxing glove uh, whenever she commit any mistake and at that, that particular only, that is only to draw her attention let's say her focus is out okay or she is out of focus then you know in order to bring her focus he used to do this right not exactly hitting and and first of all hitting a woman is unethical so even if he was doing i am contrary to this i don't, I don't approve this sir it's not just beating beating uh, it can only just uh, as you are saying that just to draw her attention towards yes. that game hmm. so the same case with the teachers teachers also want uh, that children should pay attention to what they uh, the teacher are teaching them so that's why uh, they used to beat them sometimes so but it can not get them a great success in their career sir actually as you are saying about careers so first i will tell that basic education is very important hmm. like up to the 12th or even graduation is important and why and, 
change the teaching method sir then they will not have to be sir even after uh, changing the teaching method hmm. some sometimes children uh, children thought that children think think that they are doing absolutely right and uh, going towards only one uh, focused uh, sports uh, hmm. even at very early age uh, 10 or 12 years no. it is correct let me tell you see uh, let me t- uh, tell you honestly that the teachers you know their teaching method is not fine they only finish the things whether the students understood or not they don't care okay and let me tell you this is absolutely like you know what in the ancient time when uh, people used to go to vet any doctor okay then the doctors they, they were so intelligent so knowledgeable that they did not do like operation right and the patients didn't go didn't undergo operation they had so many herbs right they used to give to the patient and they used to treat okay but nowadays you know what do the doctors do whatever happens okay go through operation go through operation in the beginning you also said this right sometimes let's say medicine they don't work we have to like uh, give, give do operation like this pain is also very necessary but if a doctor is very great right if he is able to cure the disease without operation right then why should he put the person through operation same is the case with the teachers if a teacher is very good if he is able to inculcate the things in students mind then why to beat if the teacher has to beat first of all the teacher doesn't have patience right or and the teachers teaching method is not good he wants that students to change themselves forcefully they them to learn but i would be the same i would use the same teaching methodology like this i will not change why should i take stress i would give stress to the innocent students it is they are innocent they can't say anything to you sir as you were saying that teacher don't want to change themselves they wanted to change the students mm-hmm. so i think in this case for uh, changing their methods uh, first of all government should make that uh, every after every two years uh, exam should be taken from teachers about their teaching skills mm-hmm. and on that basis they will continue their jobs yes. so this will help them uh, to rectify their def- uh, defects now you are talking if that makes sense right but does it does it happen in the private schools teachers keep coming and going right why would the government do this or conduct their exam and first of all the government would conduct their exam not the i mean teaching methodology because once they would just uh, once they would come and go right later they have to be with each other for example like wife and husband okay if there is any quarrel the neighbors come and go but ultimately they have to spend their complete time together don't they Right. Sir, so ultimately, these are the students who have to bear. Sir, as you are saying that uh, some teachers don't want to change themselves. Yes. Uh, so there are some teachers who wanted to change themselves and they changed their uh, their teaching methods. Hmm. For example, uh, when I was in class tenth, I come across a teacher who who used to beat a lot and he was famous only for that thing. Hmm. But uh, uh, people around me don't tell me that he teaches also very well. Hmm. But I uh, go to the teacher and uh, I take tuitions from him and I got 9.6 CGPA in that class. So I think. I, the whole credit goes to his, the fear that I got inside me uh, just because of his beating and all. Okay, so you are a kind of a person who learns with fear. Sir, I think there is a, you, you everybody. You go to God because of fear, right? Yes, sir. Right? So, yeah, anybody can take advantage of your fear then. If sir, you are a, a kind of a person who is very much timid, right? And he utilized your fear. And due to fear, you learned. So you are very weak, I can say. Sir, as I, I am afraid. Sir, uh, so sir, you are you are actually proving that you didn't want to learn, but because of his be- beating, because of the fear, you learned. You did, right? Sir, uh, like this, anyone can make you do anything what he wants with fear, and you are ready to do. Sir, it was my choice. You are ready to do even what you want, don't want to do. Sir, right? uh, did you want to do that? Sir, actually, as you are saying that uh, this fear may, uh, will prove wrong to me mm-hmm. one day, but I think uh, when uh, when I was in class tenth, actually, uh, I I come across many people who told me not to go to that, to that teacher, but I understood that if he beats and if I inculcate the habit of reading and studying daily one or two hours, then it will be beneficial for me, and it was my choice to go to that teacher. It was your choice. You wanted to learn. You were sincere, right? So why a sincere person requires being being beaten? If you 
you are already sincere, why would you be beaten? Right? So ultimately beating makes no sense. If you are already sincere, okay, somebody already has realization that he didn't study, he could not focus, he is very weak like this. So still should a person be beaten? Sir, self-realization is not the only way to get successful or get good marks in exams. So Even what? after self-realization, there should be a practical when and... I learned English, I was not beaten. That was self-realization. And today I am running this institute. Sir, as we used there to say... There no was behind it. Sir, as we used to say that this is necessity is the mother of all inventions. So sometimes it is necessary for the students to... No, I have seen here sometimes not to talk about beating. If I scold the students in the coaching, there is a high possibility that they would not come next day. They have, there have been many cases like this. They didn't come. Many of the girls cried and they didn't come next day. They left. They ran away. What would you say about them? And you were the one who really wanted somebody to beat you. It shows your sincerity, honesty, right? And uh, uh, we can say that, yeah, maturity, okay? But everybody is not like this. And if you are a kind of a person who is like this, then why would somebody beat you? I would never beat a person like this. Okay, sir, so uh, why do fear? Why do fear? Sir, are there, there are many stages in a student's life. If but I ask you, uh, to, to, tomorrow I will beat you severely. And you, I will give you 100 words. And you have to, have to get me the meaning of those words. Can you do this? Sir, uh, if you told me to beat me, then I will definitely, even if I have to uh, study the whole night and I'll not sleep uh, and I'll find those words uh, mm -hmm. if I had to be beaten, uh, mm -hmm. if I didn't uh, find those words. So, yes, sir. If it, uh, for, for example, that uh, the, there's so the a. The question is why, why do you fear so much? Or why do you do the things under the fear? Why not by yourself? Sir, uh, because. Learn 100 uh, words every day. If you, if you see, means. If I actually actually show you fear, okay, and I give you the corporal punishment, you are actually claiming that yeah, I would learn 100 words per day, yes, right? Sir. Then, then learn 100 words per day. Why do you want to be beaten? Because you are you have actually generated a habit of being beaten. Sir, not a habit. If you are beaten, you will do. Otherwise, you will not. Sir, you, uh, have, you admitted that yeah, because if, sir, if there is fear that I'll be beaten, yeah, I can tell you 100 meanings next day, right? And why if, if beaten, right? Why not without being beaten? Because this habit of being beaten has been generated since birth. You have generated that. Sir, uh, for example, there are many stages in a student's life. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, when uh, if I see anybody who is scoring good marks more than me, then at that point of time, I will think that I'll study hard. And mm -hmm. on the very yeah, next day... It's a very good thing, competition. Yes, sir. But on the... Not the corporal punishment. And if you are generating a habit of like getting beaten, corporal punishment, not actually unleashing your potential, complete potential, so you would, you would turn out to be a fool, nothing else. Sir, uh, but you're waiting uh, for a person to beat you, then do the work. Why? Sir, uh, sometimes that, uh, for example, I told you that on that uh, day, particular day, I will think that I will study very hard and good, uh, score good marks in exams. Mm -hmm. But on the very next day, what I'll do, I'll become lazy and I will not be sincere. But if I keep an, uh, if I told my mom uh, just to make me uh, uh, keep attentive and uh, keep reminding me that I had to study hard, no, then it will be easier for me. That's not the way. That's not the way. That why, 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 should, why should somebody remind you like this? You, you have to manage your time, right? You have to see the things. Like why? I mean, if you are really sincere, if you are really focused on your target, then why should person come to you? And what about those people, let's say, who uh, can't afford to a teacher, people who don't have a mother, then they would never succeed in this, in this case. Like you, there, are, there have been people like Eglavya also, who, who can learn without a guru as well. And there are people, even if they are beaten, uh, they are thrashed, still they don't come around, right? So beating doesn't make any sense. And first of all, you are generating a bad habit. You admit it. Sir, if you beat, yeah, I'll, I'll make you listen to 100 words. Why not without being beaten? Because why has this bad habit been generated? That is my question to you. you I, I want the answer of it. Sir, as you are saying, that's a bad habit. Actually, uh, the teacher which I am talking about, he didn't beat me any day because I will always do my homework before the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't sleep at night. I, did, uh, I stopped watching television. So that's what I am saying, right? Yes, you sir. You always did without being beaten. 
So that's sir, but the there was a fear. He said that his because of his fear yes, he sir. made me do the things. Yes, sir. Now you are saying no. I was never beaten. I always. Did but the fear, work. fear of being beaten, that uh, it would uh, can be the my next chance hmm. of being beaten. So this was the fear, and I think uh, if this fear can only be inculcated uh, in a child when. So again, my question to you is that why do you actually uh, think of fear? Because if fear is there. Then I'll do the things. If fear is not there, I'll not do the things. There will be certain cases. Let's say if you happen to get a job, there may be fear. But in order to get a job without fear, you have to be able, you have to be competent to get the job, right? And in this case, nobody will create fear. Fear cannot be created all the time, just at the initial stage. But if you will generate this bad habit out of you, then that stage would go, right? Then. You would become careless because now the beating would stop. In this institute, would I beat anybody? No. No, it sir. This work will not be done. Not at all. Is you are in habit. You have, you yourself admitted. Yes, yeah, sir. If you beat me, I will make you listen to hundred words next day. Right? I will. Why not without be, be, be being beaten? Sir, even after beating, because uh, from the very uh, as I told you that uh, hmm. uh, at our early ages, when children of the age of ten or fifteen, between ten to fifteen ages, they didn't understand what is self-realization, what is competition, and all. Hmm. Uh, so it is necessary for those students to beat so them. To create, create competition among them, and they don't do so. Why would they do so? Sir, Is they are concerned about their salary. That that is credited monthly. That is the reason. Principal can do so, but but principal alone can't take care of so many students because there is so much of abundance in the school. That is the case. So that is the the case, and that is why the children are being beaten in the school. And I am again telling you, you are generating, you have generated a bad habit of, or you have created a fear, unnecessary fear. But if somebody, yeah, somebody has to be very strict, and he should, yeah, beat like this, then I would learn. Otherwise, no. Why no? Sir, as you are saying that self-realization should come. If we if we teach a child that uh, of a five or six year old that self-realization, what is self-realization? I don't think even by the best method I could understand make him understand that what is self-realization. There are methods. Sir, there are. sir, you, even you should, you should have first of all if you skip this beating and all that animal kind of tendency, right? Then you will think of the ways. If you leave one way, the second way would come your mind. Strike your mind, right? But if you keep holding that orthodox way, right? Then why would you think of something creative? First, generate a good feeling, good habit. Then the ideas strike. If you are holding the old ideas, right? Then why would you be thinking of the new ideas? Think of without beating. Think, think like Mahatma Gandhi, right? Like I would get freedom without being beaten or without beating like this. Okay. Although Mahatma Gandhi, that is a debatable topic. Okay. Whether he got freedom or not, that's also a debatable topic. Fine. But somebody should think like this. In the Western culture, there is no corporal punishment. There is no other country where the corporal punishment is there. This was the only. In, this was only India where corporal punishment was there, and it has been banned from the side of government because the teachers were thrashing the students badly. Thanks to social media, because of social media, so many cases actually were highlighted. So people came to know that the students were badly treated like animals. The teachers, I can show you the video in my phone right away. Teacher is beating the students. Just a student got one minute late beating. It, whatever they did, beating. Sometimes students don't even know why am I being beaten. And okay, beat him one stick, two stick. Right? Yes, sir. Three, four, five. Till the time, like they are getting frustrated, uh, fought with the husband and throwing the anger on the students like this, especially ladies. They were found in many cases like this. I have also personally seen the ladies doing so. Sir, as you as you give just give me example of Mahatma Gandhi. So I'll uh, begin with that only that uh, in his early childhood, Mahatma Gandhi stole uh, some money from his father's purse, hmm. and his father didn't knew this. Hmm. But uh, after uh, stealing that money, stealing that money, uh, he thought that if his father come to know about this, he will get punished. 
so he he just go to his father and told about he this he went he to his right? yes sir he went to his father and told the whole incident to his father and his that father he stole money yes sir he accepted yes sir Good. so i think this acceptance come from the fear fear of not getting punished oh no that's your misconception if he had a fear he would not tell okay sir he had a fear that's no. why he thought he, he accepted so would the father beat him or not sir the father didn't beat him because he had just uh, realized his mistake that's what i am saying if the students have realization if they are honest to their work why the corporal punishment is there right and if students are stubborn if they don't want to study again why the corporal punishment is there okay sometimes you don't know when they hit the students sometimes they they bleed sometimes they hit on their eyes sometimes nose sometimes ears sometimes students already have problem in their ear and the the teacher is slapping and they suddenly slap because before they slap they don't tell i am going to slap be ready mm-hmm. right do they tell like this no and sir then the students get injured and then they actually don't love to go to school why are you creating the environment like this that the students don't wish to go to school and let me also tell you when you say that yes because of fear because somebody beats i want it to go right so if you are that kind of person really the beating is not required and if you are that kind of a person who avoids the corporal punishment who doesn't want to be beaten right still the beating is not required because he will first of all not go to you so in both in either cases why beating is required answer this question sir actually as you are saying that uh, the teacher should be changed or their method should be changed no teacher should be changed okay sir method should be changed okay sir so we we just uh, change the method of the teacher of teaching and uh, we told the teacher to motivate the tell, children uh, we should tell the teachers yes. to motivate them yes. and even after doing all these things if there are certain stubborn student who didn't uh, understand or don't listen to teachers then what is the only way uh, to make them understand uh, what teacher is saying yes i know it is not going to change because before the schools the principals and all they hire the teachers they do not see all the abilities of the teachers right what do they see only their knowledge they don't see the personality or the creativity or the innovation right in my institute there have been cases many children many parents or the guardians said that my child is not interested in learning okay like this and i'm sure he is not going to learn even here but actually when they joined here they learned or they enjoyed the learning because i made it like a game i created competition and the parents themselves admitted that that yeah my child loves to come here he himself loves to come here and they are surprised they are clever gasted but this child i mean who is very naughty mm-hmm. I mean, how does he study here so i'm doing something different am i not so you are definitely doing very much different mm-hmm. but uh, there are certain so i'm just giving you a case that if a teacher changes everything he changes the way he speak the uh, the method he used to teach and he also start motivating children even after children, children even after those children don't don't uh, listen to the teacher mm-hmm. then what could be the method the teacher should apply Now i ask you that even after beating they don't understand then what is the next option so uh, sir uh, even after the beating there are some cases that uh, yes. children listen to them at least at that moment i i can show you many cases sir, even after beating they didn't learn they didn't uh, yeah focus on education sir in those cases these were, those were the cases when uh, when uh, the when the children get the fear out of them that uh, we will get beaten uh, hmm. beaten for three or four, three or four sticks hmm. and it will be fine but That's this what I'm saying. so they if they are stubborn they are stubborn the even the beating is not going to work that only that is only for the satisfaction of a teacher that because see teacher also knows if i beat they are not going to learn right but teacher is throwing his frustration right teacher is throwing his frustration okay you didn't learn i'll beat you it is kind of taking revenge and all like this that is nothing but a kind of a revenge we can say why would he not learn so he is beating or throwing the frustration out sir access as i told in you in several cases you know after beating a child okay they just beat and leave the child okay then why don't they next today come and see whether now has he learned or not so what is the benefit of beating somebody could not do something teacher has beaten right 
even next day the result is the same now i ask you what is the benefit of bt tell me here. sir actually as you are saying that uh, uh, a student who is stubborn will remain stubborn yes. but uh, the thing is that when a student is beaten by a teacher uh, he maybe he is stubborn or anything uh, anything like that uh, he will at least listen at that point of time and on the very next day he will think that uh, not to be beaten by the teacher and he will try to complete his homework or you yourself said that sir uh, th this is due to the excessive uh, beating and i i am saying that corporal punishment should be there but excessive uh, See, punishment even, even after beating only the student who wants to learn or study will learn and study and these kind of students can learn or study any time anywhere okay but the the student who doesn't have to study even after beating they are not going to study remember this and my question again to you why the corporal punishment only in the education system the teachers actually take advantage of this they take it as their work right first of all they don't have right to beat the students they also have their self esteem respect okay so what they can do they should learn how to insult with respect okay if they are insulted then they learn more okay not by being beaten first of all in the beating right they they know if a teacher beats right i am not losing my respect because teacher is beating that's okay no problem but if you insult that guy right uh, with respect yeah then the children they realize they learn more in that case sir i think as you are saying insult is a more effective uh, than beating the child yes. but i think that insult if i insult a 5 year old child by saying that you didn't do your homework you don't know anything like this mm -hmm. so he will not uh, so he will not understand this he will only understand there are the different for example if i go to a doctor uh, he will give me a different dose and if I, for the same uh, for the same uh, uh, if i if i had fever or for the same disease uh, for example if any other person went to the doctor and he also suffer from fever then he will have the different dose so i can't complain the doctor why you are giving me a different dose because it suits my my uh, say my body and etc so first of all why are you actually harping on the same string only beating only beating can't there be some other ways i i have told you so many ways but why do you think that only and only beating is very important if beating is so important then beat them not not like a uh, little bit beat them like hell beat Sir. them badly actually beat them so much then like the students to reach the that hospital then yeah they will become abj abdul kalam right so not only beating obviously, can help them obviously if little bit beating helps little bit then more beating will help more then a lot of beating will help a lot right so beat them till they become abj abdul kalam sir as you are saying that uh, we should beat them like hell if if uh, they want obviously because it brings them success sir definitely not uh, not uh, for no, example no, no, no. now for i'm asking you uh, now i am telling yeah they should be beaten they should be thrashed badly like sir anyone. not thrashed badly i am saying no, that excessive you uh, excessive of anything is harm no, harmful if excess is good then why not sir excess is not good i am just saying that you because said that little fear makes them like little focus yes sir if more fear is there if the beat more let's say even because of the fear our student learned 100 words right so next day make the target of 200 and then beat again if he does two then make 300 and otherwise beat and four otherwise beat yeah keep beating so just by increasing the number of words every day is just like a revenge hmm. and it's not teaching it's just uh, to make sure that you will beat some uh, the child one day because you would succeed more doesn't the teacher want that the student to succeed more or to achieve more in the life sir if i went to a doctor and i ask her to, uh, that i am uh, suffering from fever hmm. and if he uh, give me a proper uh, fever is a different thing learning has no limit fever is the limited thing it comes and goes off sir what i'm saying is that not learning and knowledge is, is does it have a limit does it sir definitely not not so keep beating because it has no limit so beat unlimited sir definitely not beat it goes off obviously i understand why would the doctor give dose if fever has gone off right but knowledge is never ending never stopping 
so never stop beating keep beating keep beating till they become abdul kalam sir as you are saying that motivation self realization so same as these things there are uh, the, the uh, corporal punishment is also one of those and uh, this should be there uh, like for moti- uh, even after motivating in self realization no they should be beaten more now right sir what every day every time so uh, a child between uh, 10 years old and 15 years old will not understand what is self realization and what is competition even if we give a 3 uh, 3 hours lecture to him and uh, there are cases that when a teacher scolds or beat up a uh, beat a child that he will understand that i had committed a huge mistake and i should uh, i should correct it so i think at that early ages of a child uh, when when he went to school he should be given so some there, punishment there are other ways to make a child understand that he made a mistake sir so i am saying is the way. sir i am saying that uh, it should not be the first step taken by the teacher mm-hmm. but it can in ca- it can be the last step taken by the teacher if a child is stubborn and it uh, and he didn't listen to the teacher okay fine so now actually because of the time constraint actually i was enjoying this debate with her i have a lot to say she also has a lot to say i know but because of the time constraint i have to actually take a pause here and uh, i would actually ask my view- viewers to please leave their views in the comments okay and whatever we say here that is for the sake of debate right don't take anything personally okay and don't get personal okay and uh, i will also suggest you to please uh, subscribe to this channel as we are going to watch so many videos like this all right and we will also get in touch and you can also leave your whatsapp number so that i can send you all the videos of this institute directly and that would make you learn a lot once again this is deepak jain with shivadi and thank you very very much for watching this video till the end and once again i'll be waiting for your comments thank you very much and have a wonderful day from my side and shivani from, from shivani thank you thank you very much and bye bye thank you